Hi guys, welcome back to this uh, lecture. In this lecture, um, I'll discuss about nitrogen oxide and, and how we can map it using uh, satellite data. So nitrogen oxide is one of the, the gases that is very important for, you know, health effect. Um, so nitrogen oxide is one of a group of, you know, highly reactive gas known as, you know, oxides of nitrogen or nitrogen oxide. Um, you know, so uh, it, it, it primarily uh, we can get, um, you know, nitrogen oxide from the air, especially when 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 fuel is burning or forest fire and things like that. And another way that we can, you know, get nitrogen oxide in the air is uh, from emissions from cars, trucks, and you know, buses or power plants or industry, um, and and such that. And it has a devastating effect for health. Uh, you know, public health, especially if someone breathes uh, air contaminated or with high concentration of nitrogen oxide, it can irritate um, the human respiratory system and it can cause uh, a lot of diseases, including, you know, asthma, um, you know, coughing and difficulty of breathing and things like that. Um, you know, so mapping and uh, identifying the location of this environmental factor that affects our breathing system or respiratory system is really important. So in the next session, we'll use satellite data, especially from Sentinel-5P, uh, to map nitrogen oxide um, uh, data from satellite. Um, so the first thing is let's um, import the um, country's uh, database, which is administrative boundary for all countries around the world. And the next thing is we'll uh, import the Sentinel satellite data, uh, mainly the the nitrogen oxide or NO2 from the Copernicus, um, you know, uh, uh, from Copernicus Sentinel. Uh, and specifically, let's uh, select. There are multiple layers here, so we would select uh, the the NO2 uh, column number density or the the, the, the the nitrogen oxide density technically. And it's a time series data, so I'll like to focus uh, uh, only the months of June 2019 or 2019, um, especially the first week of June 2019. So I'll filter it from June 1st to June 6th. So my data is a global data, which um, contains um, data from Sentinel and spans for the period of the, from June 1st to 6th uh, of 2019. And so that I'll be able to visualize uh, clearly. I'll define some color parameters. So black and blue are low, um, you know, low class uh, or low density of nitrogen oxide, whereas red is the highest density and yellow is uh, high, high density. Um, some of these other colors will be in the middle. Um, so finally, I'll import my image collection. Uh, here, the nitrogen oxide image collection for the month of June, early June. And because it's a time series data, it contains multiple images, so I'll calculate mean. That means it will aggregate um, every pixel that, that's um, during this entire period will have an aggregate value or a mean value um, or a mean nitrogen density value. And then I'll clip it by country's boundary since it's uh, it's including oceans and, you know, the, the land or the continent. So I would like to visualize only uh, the areas of the continent by clipping it this country's boundary. And finally, I'll call this, you know, visualization parameter, which I already defined here, and then name it, um, you know, Sentinel-5P NO2 nitrogen oxide. And execute my code here. So here it goes. So we have now a map of a uh, global map of nitrogen oxide. Um, as you can see here um, in the map, um, there's um, the red and you know yellow are higher concentration of nitrogen oxide. As you can see here, some part of southern Africa, we have high concentration of um, nitrogen oxide. Uh, most most of Africa seems to be pretty low um, with respect to nitrogen oxide, and you can you can see here Australia pretty low, and also South America um, moderately high concentration of uh, nitrogen oxide in northern Europe and some part of um, um, central to eastern you know United States. And mostly the the higher concentration is in China and some part of India. So this is how you can you know use satellite data 
to monitor nitrogen oxide, which is, uh, you know, one of the uh, fatal, uh, you know, um, particles if it's inhaled um, uh, in the air. So we need to map uh, or quantify that, um, you know, the location of that and the timing of that to understand and quantify uh, these risk factors with respect to respiratory, um, you know, respiratory, uh, you know, um, health impacts, um, occurrence in, in a community.